What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be testing out RPCS3, the PS3 emulator, on my main gaming machine. In this video we're going to go over Skate 3 and see if we can do 4K 60fps with an i5-9600K overclocked to 5.1GHz, 16GB of DDR4 3000MHz RAM, and an RTX 2080 Ti. So I already have RPCS3 up and running, and as you can see, it has pegged out the CPU. All six cores, 5.1 gigahertz, totally maxed out at 100%. This emulator isn't joking around. I know all the text on screen is really small right now, but I do have everything set to 4K, even the internal resolution of Skate 3 in RPCS3. And the display I'm using is a 42-inch LG 4K television. So we're at true 4K resolution here. I'm going to go full screen with this in a second, but unfortunately I couldn't get Afterburner to run in RPCS3, at least the newest version, have everything up to date in Afterburner. So I've been using the built-in NVIDIA FPS counter, and if you take a look at the gameplay screen, it's up in the top right hand corner, but unfortunately when I captured the video, it doesn't show up in the video. Not sure if there's a setting I can turn on, and Fraps doesn't work either. The development on this emulator is full steam ahead, but there are still some bugs. You're going to hear some sound bugs, and you might see some frame dips every once in a while. Even on hardware like this, 6 cores, 5.1 gigahertz, and an RTX 2080 Ti, it still struggles to run this at full speed at this time. So I'd say 98% of the time I was at 60 FPS, or 61, that's what it was showing with the FPS counter. Every once in a while I did see a dip down to about 54, but it seemed pretty playable like this. Now there's obviously sound glitches as you can hear, but this has gotten a lot better since the last time I tested it. So I'd say within the next few months this will be fully playable at least on a rig like I have here. Which is definitely overkill for emulation, but to see PS3 running this well on a PC of any kind is pretty awesome in my opinion. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching. Personally I was really impressed when I started testing the newer version of RPCS3 because the last time I tested it, it was pretty bad even on this machine here. I was averaging around 48 FPS, 
and it's definitely spiked up since then. I know this is a higher end machine, but you gotta remember that RPCS3 is a pretty young emulator and it's come a long way so far, so it's gonna go even further, and this should work on lower end systems in the future. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. I'm also going to leave links to RPCS3's website in case you want to test this out. And like always, thanks for watching.